All right, Streets is talking, but you called it when you told us that Baby does not give a fuck about Lil Wayne. <laughs> but And now it looks like the Carter Six is coming out before the Carter Five. Yo, is it not crazy? I told y'all. I said, clearly, Baby don't give a fuck about Lil Wayne, because if he did, that's your... First of all, forget him being an artist. If that's your man, the way you say that's your man, mm -hmm. you got him tattooed on you, y'all kissed in the mouth, you've always said that's your son, you're supposed to hold that down. There is never a reason that he should be complaining about money or suing you for money in no way, shape, or form. If anybody supposed to eat, it's supposed to be Wayne. Everybody else can complain. All the people that you just recently signed, like the Drakes, the Dicky Minaj's, the Tigers, they can complain. Your day one, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So is that a guy code violation? Absolutely a guy code violation. Take care of your people, man. You know, Jay-Z told us back on Reasonable Doubt, if everybody in your clique is rich, your clique is rugged. Nobody your fault, everybody be each other's crutches. Who's their crutches now? You hear about Birdman having financial problems? I guess Wayne suing, like, who's the crutch? You know? Absolutely. They should have held that down. They made a lot of money. And speaking of guy code, what about the Carter Six cover? What do you think about that? I'm not into it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, artistic, man. I mean, you know, I never knock guys like Young Doug when they do stuff like that because Prince walked around with his ass out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. And that's a legend. That, that, yeah, it's, he's a legend. So I can't, I don't, I don't knock, you know, Young Thug for getting naked. I don't, I don't, I don't like it, but I don't, I don't knock him for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not something to make me go buy the album. You know? Makes sense, makes sense. Lastly, let me get your personal opinion. It's been a strong year for hip hop albums already. Who's got the top pick so far, quarter one? Quarter one. Oh man. I know, man. I know. I, you know, I'm listening to all of that stuff. I'm going to go with the Pimple Butterfly. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I love Wale's album. I think it's dope. Amazing. I love Big Sean's album. But I just think Kendrick is dope, man. Kendrick brings me back a, a, to a time of like the Dungeon Family, you know, um, old elements of West Coast hip hop like Sugar Free. And I mean, he's got a great message. All those guys got great messages. I mean, Wale's got a great message too. He's very socially conscious. But I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Kendrick. I think Kendrick. Pimple Butterfly is absolutely the dopest one okay. thus far. But look out for Tank. Oh. We have belligerent generation of ignorance. Bitches live for the gram, so they life ain't got no significance. Boy, this I've heard Tank's album. You know what I'm saying? Is it finished? Uh, far as I know. I mean, I heard that from the pro unless they went back in. But the project I heard maybe a month ago, I don't think nobody rocked touching Tank, male or female. I just think she's the dopest got it. artist out here right now. You know what I'm saying? But they'll, they'll see when her album drops.